Okay, this is quiz nine, question six. The figure below shows graph of the fixed cost function, total cost function, and the total revenue function, okay, for a certain commodity. So that is the fixed cost, F. C, it means fixed cost. CC, right there is the total cost, and total revenue is this red line right there. All right, so now we're given the selling price is $60, variable cost per unit is $10. What is the break even point? So, how do we find that looking at the graph? Well, the break even point is right here, the intersection of those. Uh, this total cost function and the total revenue function, right? This, this total cost function right there and this total revenue function right here. Okay. Now, what, what do we see if you come down here for the unit? This shows 60. If you come all the way straight down there. And there is the number 60. So we know one of the numbers is indeed 60. And this is indicating right here how it should be entered. So we have to open parentheses. Sorry, we open the parentheses, we put in 60. So that is one number. All right, what is the other number? Well, the other number is the total revenue or the dollars. Okay, one's in units meaning a number, 60 units. And now we have to read this one over right here. Okay, and now how do we get there? Well, if we look at this is 3,000 right here. Okay, that's, sorry, 3,000 right here. And then the next one is 4,000 right up there. Okay, all right. So let us have a look at that and we will see what happens. All right, so now if we go over here and we get into the Word document, so one is 4,000 and the other one is uh, 3,000. So 4,000 minus 3,000 is equal to 1,000, all right? So 1,000. So, but in that interval, we have how many spaces? We have one space here, two, three, four, five, all right? So five, let's go five spaces. So I'm down and then we'll get there, okay, so. Five spaces for and for the interval of one thousand. Okay. Therefore, one space would be equal to, or one division, you can say, would be one thousand divided by five, which would equal to two hundred dollars. It's actually dollars. Okay, so the do sorry, dollars there, $200 per space. Okay, all right. So now what happens? Where is the total revenue point? It's right here. Okay, where th that is total revenue at break even. So we come over here, and how many spaces do we have? If we come down, we have one two, three spaces. Okay, so we would have this marker here is 3,000. So it's 3,000 plus three spaces, correct? One, two, three spaces there. And if we come right across here, there is the intersection. So three times 200 would be equal to, so it would be I think 3,000, let's put the dollars so we know, 
3,600. And that seems to be correct, right? So let's put that number in here. We do not put the dollar sign. We put in 3,600. All right, so there we are. Okay. All right, now, uh, what are the fixed costs? Well, fixed costs, we're looking at this line, this horizontal line, it's fixed. So it never changes. And that is exactly at this 3,000 right here. Okay? There we are. So that number should be 3,000. Okay? So there we are. Now, if the production, if the maximum production capacity of the commodity, all right, let's pull this over a little bit more, of the Commodity is 100, express the break-even unit as a percent of capacity. Now, well, this one is quite simple because if this is 60, that is the break-even point, correct? And this is 100, then the answer should be 60%. Right now, if you're really concerned about that, then uh, percent of capacity, we will just do that here. So. You want per percent of capacity would be equal to what? Well, it's 60 divided by the capacity, all right? Or maybe we should put it this way, break even units divided by the capacity and then you multiply that by 100 and we'll get the percent. So in this case, if we follow that reasoning, then it would be equal to what? 60 divided by 100 times 100, and that would give us the 60, and that would be 60%. Okay, so that is how we do that question. Now let's check to see if the submission works. And it's correct, and as you can see, it is correct. Now, we should be careful just to check in here, maybe, if we put a comma in there. And, you know, we're very fond of if we put that, and then we're fond of putting spaces, correct? So let's see what happens. It might not work. Why, you will see. Because it's taking this as a, as a separator. All right, so let's see if we just take out the comma, but we leave in the space, it takes the space. So it's, the space is all right, but please do not put a comma in there because it reads it as being a separator, meaning uh, the separating the, the numbers. So it, it's guessing that this is a three instead of the, 3,600, at least I think that's what it is doing. All right, so that's a caution there. And that is how you do this question. It's all graphical, and that is what you need to do.